what if you're drying powders? So the problem with vacuum drying, um, with things that can kind of fluff up, is that if you're not careful and if you apply a full vacuum to powders, that vacuum can actually be pulled up kind of like a dust storm right into your vacuum pump. Not good for the powder that you want to dry because you'll lose it, not good for your vacuum pump. So the secret to drying out powders is to very gently apply a vacuum. So you want to avoid that rush of air. So instead of pulling a vacuum as hard as you can right away, instead you create a ramp rate, maybe over 20 minutes. So if, you, if your target pressure is say half a tour, what you can do is over two hours, you can actually ramp from atmosphere about 760 tour down to two tour. And then what you can do is then open up to full vacuum. The nice thing about that is that's a very automated way to make sure that powders don't end up in your vacuum pump. When someone's doing something manually, especially something as boring as that, mistakes are more likely to happen. You know, when you're tweaking, you know, making very, very small changes to valves. Um, but in an automation, just to say, okay, start this process, there's much less room for error in something as simple as that. So that's sort of the high level of how vacuum control can really help in drying powders.